Hello, and thank you for attending our streaming and Pick Me Plan training. My name's Chad Mix. I'm the Director of Marketing for Nervado. And before we get into the nuts and bolts of uh, the streaming and Pick Me Plan training, I thought I would just give you a little bit of an overview to set the table um, for what we're talking about. Um, so you might ask, you know, why is Nervado changing TV to begin with? And that answer is fairly simple. It's because our number one complaint from our customers is the cost of TV in general, as well as the annual increase in TV pricing. And although we understand the pain of that, it's not Nervado raising the pricing, it's the content providers or the transmission agreements go up every year. And every year, you know, we have to pass those costs along um, to you or the television product would lose money. Um, and so we know it's a pain point for you, and it's also a pain point for us. So we've spent some time over the last couple of years trying to decide where, what is TV going to look like for our customers in the future, and how can we provide a product that ultimately they're happier with. And we came up with the Pick Me plans. And the Pick Me plans are a streaming product, and so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a definition of streaming. So streaming can be looked at in two different ways. Um, one as a delivery mechanism. So TV today is delivered either over satellite, over IPTV, um, or, or over the internet, which is often referred to as streaming. And so in, in some ways, streaming is just a mechanism to deliver TV service to a, a house uh, or business. Um, but it's also often referred to as um, a content package and generally an on-demand content package, but it's not always. So um, applications like Hulu and Netflix are on-demand content applications, meaning you can go to those apps anytime and play whatever content they have at any time of the day. You don't have to follow a, a guide or a schedule to say my show is on at a particular time. You know, if Law & Order is what you watch, you can go to one of those streaming platforms that carry it and watch all episodes all in a row at any time you want. So that's one way that people talk about streaming. They say streaming and they're referring to Hulu or Netflix. Another way, and maybe a little bit more recently, is really like traditional TV. Streaming does have live TV channels like a traditional TV. And Nervado TV is one of those platforms. So our streaming app, Nervado TV, provides live television channels over the internet on an application that is streaming. Um, so really, those are the two ways people refer to streaming. One as a different delivery mechanism and one as an application that's providing the content that you're watching, whether it's live or on demand. Um, okay, so as I said, we uh, created the Pick Me plans and went to streaming as an answer to uh, saving our customers money or uh, preventing some of the high costs that uh, are associated with TV. And so we created a product called Pick Me. Um, Pick Me is really a bundle of services, but ultimately, um, Besides the bundle of services, which I'll go through with you, um, Pick Me is really a hybrid. It's a hybrid of both on-demand content and live TV. And here's how it works. We provide within the Pick Me plan on Nervado TV our basic uh, channel lineup. So depending on what market you're in, you know, there's 15 to 20 channels in there. It's, it's all of the locals. NBC, NBC, CBS, CW, et cetera. Um, and then in addition to that, we provide to you a, a streaming credit where you can purchase any other streaming service that you want. Um, and that's th those streaming services could be HBO Max, they could be Hulu, they could be Netflix or Discovery Plus or any of the 180 or so services that you can buy at streaming.nervado.com. So our TV offer here is now a combination of live TV with you know, programming playing at a certain time where you view a guide, 
um, and streaming credits to buy other applications, like I mentioned, Hulu or Netflix or whatever. Um, and that combination essentially does this. Um, it allows you to purchase and pay for only the channels that you watch. Where a traditional TV package is a large bundle of channels that costs a lot of money, right? Like, as you know, the Pick Me plan is 149 our TV package alone can be 140 some dollars. So, so by eliminating, you know, having to buy 100 or 150 or 200 channels um, and just buying what you want, our customers are saving a lot of money. So here's what the Pick Me plan provides to you. It gives you the local channels that I talked about with Nervado TV. It gives you the streaming credit to buy other programming that you want. So if you watch five different things, we just find those five different things in other apps and you'll have them available to you. It gives you one gigabit of internet. It gives you Apex managed Wi-Fi, including um, our security or our network firewall, which prevents intrusion, um, prevents viruses and, and hacking and all that kind of stuff. And it, I think um, last month it stopped like 1,300 attacks uh, to our customers. So it's a really good value for you. We also give you a streaming device um, and we set up all of the streaming for you. So um, you don't have to worry about making all these connections and downloading Nervado TV and other apps. Our guys will do that for you. And in addition, we give you the local phone as well as um, a cloud DVR service. Um, so it's a really strong package at $149. Um, and we also created streaming.nervado.com, which um, is an application or a portal that you can research um, and purchase any of these ancillary services that you want with your streaming credits. Um, and we'll walk you through how to do that. But if you wanted Hulu or, or any of, of them, HBO Max or Paramount, they're all available um, they're all available at streaming.nervado.com. And so will your streaming credit so you can purchase them easily and not have to um, use your own credit card or, or pay for those services beyond that. So what's the result of us doing this so far? Well, I recently with uh, Carrie in our accounting or billing department went over the comparisons that she's been doing with our customers. And not all customers are the same, but on average, I would say that our customers are saving about $70 a month. Now, there were cases where people only saved 20, and there were cases where people saved 100, but the average was around $70. And so we feel like the Pick Me plans and having a streaming platform uh, allowing the Pick Me plans um, is really a great answer for what our customers have been asking for, and that is, a better TV option to save some money. Um, and certainly uh, it leverages your internet to a much greater degree, right? You're paying for internet and now you're leveraging it to watch TV over it and saving some money doing so. Um, so we think that it could be a really good thing for you. And we hope that you can also save 70 or more dollars per month. So thanks again for attending. I think you'll find the information that Eric and Mark are about to go over with you very, um, uh, insightful. And obviously, we're always here to help you and want you to be able to transition over to streaming in a relatively easy way. And again, our guys will help set it all up for you. Um, so, so that burden is, is off your plate. Thanks again. Have a great day. Take care. I'm Mark, and I want to provide an introduction for you into streaming TV. I'll be using one of these Amazon Fire Sticks here, as you can see, along with the remote that comes with it. You can see that the remote's a pretty simple device. It has just the arrow keys to up, down, back, and forth, and then the fast forward and play buttons, and then a volume that can be paired to your TV. Some of the remotes also have these shortcuts to certain more commonly used streaming services like Netflix or Disney. For the Fire Stick, you can see it just is this really small device. It plugs into the back of your TV with the HDMI port, and then it has a small port for charging and you just can plug that usually into the same plug that you put your TV into. 
A lot of TVs do have the smart features built in through services like Roku or Samsung. Uh, we like these Amazon Fire Sticks just because they're pretty responsive and easy to search for programming in. And compared to the other services, they can be a little bit cheaper. You can see here on the Amazon website that this one is $35, which is cheaper than some of the other streaming services. You do, however, need an Amazon account to use it. So I'm plugging this one in right now, and you'll be able to see it start booting up on the screen. And then we will just go through the initial logins to our Amazon account along with connecting it to Wi-Fi. We'll actually have to connect it to Wi-Fi first. So you can see here that the Fire Stick is booting up for the first time. And it'll take us to a login screen where we can just press the play button on our remote here as soon as it loads up. So it says press play to start. So I'm just going to press the play button and select a language. And now it's going to give me the option to use a QR code or my remote to set up the device. I can use a QR code if I have a smartphone and an Amazon app installed on the smartphone already. In this case, I just want to use the remote. The first step is to connect, get connected to Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to choose, here you would choose the Wi-Fi in your house. And then I'm going to put the password in. I use the little arrow keys on the remote here to put the password in. In this case, I've just made it easy for this training here. And then click connect. And it will connect to this network now. Once it's connected to this network, it's going to just ask me for my Amazon username and password. But first, it looks like it has to do some downloads. Almost all of these, when you first plug them in, are going to have some amount of downloads. This one, because I plugged it in before, is had less downloads, but it may take a few minutes, depending on how long it's been in, on the shelf kind of at Amazon before they sent it to you. Once the updates are done, it's going to take me to the Amazon login screen. Now on the Amazon login screen, I'm just going to select sign in. If I didn't have an account, I could create a new account from here. Here it gives me the option of using a QR code again or else going to this website, amazon.com slash code and entering this code here. We're going to use the website mode in this one. So you can hear, see here I have my browser up. I'm going to go to Amazon com slash code and then put in that code in this case it was already assigned into my Amazon account if it wasn't signed into my Amazon account I'd have to put my Amazon username and password in as you can see here the code is CBMRCP this will be different every time and then I just click continue as you can see now, it says that the registration was successful. It also shows, you can see on the TV over in the corner, that this says that this Fire Stick has been added to the account. So now I can just click Continue by hitting the center button on my remote. And it will begin setting me up for my account. Here it's asking me what brand of TV I have, and I just put in what brand I have. If I have one of these major brands, it will automatically know and then set up so that the volume and power button work on it. Um, there's quite a few brands here, so it should be able to cover it for any of the different brands you have. And then here it's going to ask me if I hear music. and for this demo, I don't have any sound, but I would basically just press the volume button until I hear music, and then that would mean that the remote, so the volume button is these plus and minus buttons here, I would just press that until I hear music, and that would mean that the remote is paired to my TV, and now the power button and the volume buttons will work, and I won't have to find the big one. And now it says that my remote is set up properly and it's just going to take me into the home screen of the Amazon Fire Stick. From here, the, I'm going to get this prompt to connect to an Amazon Prime trial. I do not want to do that right now, so I can just click Not Now. 
And once it loads, it gets to this screen here where it's going to want to take me through adding a bunch of apps to it. It's recommended that you just use the apps that you want. So on these, just skip all these trials by clicking no thanks. And again, instead here where it says getting started, just click no thanks again and we can get the apps that we want. I'm not going to enable the parental controls. And it's just taking me through some introduction stuff. Once I get in here, I can just select this profile. If I had multiple users assigned to my Amazon account, I could select which one I want there. In my case, I just have the one. And then I get to the Amazon home screen. From here, I'll have a lot of options for using for streaming. Um, the first thing is, is the searching. With this feature, I can just go down to the search and then type in the show that I like, and it will tell me if there are any free services or pay services that will allow me to watch that. So I'm just going to put in the Andy Griffith Show. And once I get enough typed in, it will auto-fill it for me. And here it tells me that it found the show and I can click on it and it tells me that I can watch it for free on the Pluto app. There are more ways to watch it where it says I can buy it episode by episode for $3 or $2 an episode. But what I would like to do is just to use the free app that they recommended in this case, which was the Pluto TV app. So I can just click on it. And it says I don't have it yet, but I can just get it and download it for free. Now it says that I've downloaded the new app. And it will just go through this installing feature here. And once it's installed, I can just click on the open button. This will take me into that Pluto TV app. And from here, I can just press the back button on my remote and go to search and put in the show that I want. In this case, it actually popped right up at the top. I could have searched for it, but I can see it right here. So I can click on it and it'll take me to that show where I can watch it live. And then I can watch this show. If I ever want to stop watching a show, if I, I can just hit the home button here and then that takes me back to the home. To see which apps I have installed here, because I may want to get back to that Pluto app or to any other apps that I've downloaded, I can go over to this three little squares thing in the side and click the middle button, and that will show me the apps. You can see here is the Pluto one, where I can just open it again. That will take me back in, and I could watch the show that I was watching. I can also go and watch other shows that may be part of this service by just clicking the back button and then clicking it again and then I can go into the channel guide and just see this Pluto service happens to be a service that shows live TV so you can find just different shows in it um, some of them may be ones that you want to watch but the easiest way to find shows is generally just to go to the search screen on the home and then search for the show that you want we're just going to do that again with another show just to see if we can find something else. Here we can see it auto completed. So if we search for that, it shows us that the show does exist on here. And that was for the movie. I wanted to pick the show. And it says that I can watch it on Hulu or that I can buy the episodes. And then under more ways to watch, it says that those are the ways that I can watch it. So if I did care about this show, then this would be a place where I could subscribe to the Hulu app and then utilize that to watch the different shows in that. Hulu, unlike the Pluto app that we saw before, is an on-demand service. So then it will just show us all of the seasons and all of the episodes of this show. And we can just select the ones we want to watch and watch them anytime versus the Pluto service, which was showing just episodes in order. And when you start watching one, you'll just kind of see where it's at. More kind of like the live TV that we're maybe used to. 
I tend to prefer these on-demand services, even though sometimes they do cost a subscription fee for a month. It's much less than the cable fee that I used to pay, and it allows me to watch the shows that I want at any time and also pause them, and there's not really any um, kind of waiting to see the one that I want to see. We can even look back at the original show that we searched and find that it probably is available on an on-demand service along with that Pluto service. The on-demand services, again, do usually have a fee with them, but usually we can find the shows that we want and it adds up to a much lower fee. So I'm just going to search the original show Andy Griffith again. And here, this time when I do it, I'm going to go over to the More Ways to Watch and see and it does show that the Paramount app is one that I can get to. That one again will have a small fee per month to keep it and it'll have lots of programming in it including this series and then I'd be able to watch that on demand instead of, and watch just the episodes that I like or watch them anytime that I want. In addition to the on demand and live services that are available on the Fire Stick just by searching there's also the Norvato TV app that we can get on this. This allows us to see the local channels that we're used to for around here. And Eric is going to show us that service. Hi, this is Eric with Norvato. I wanted to go over a quick demonstration on how to load the Norvato streaming application on an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. We highly recommend the 4K Max devices. They have a really good processor in them, the streaming applications work very well on them. Uh, so an Amazon Fire Cube is really w good as well. You may have a Roku Ultra or an Apple TV. Those those will work fine as well. But this demonstration is going to be the 4K Max and <clears throat> the very common and very familiar Amazon Fire Remote. The main buttons on this are going to be the up, down, left, right, center, select button, the back button, home button, and then the three lines are your menu button. And then you've got rewind, play, pause, fast forward, volume up and down. This button will turn off or on the TV. Okay, I've got my 4K Max plugged in. I'm signed into my Amazon account. And now I'm going to want to find and download the Norvato streaming app. So I go over to search, again using the buttons on my Fire Stick remote. I can go down, I do a search, I start typing in Norvato. There it is, once I start typing it usually auto fills. Norvato TV. And I can see it's available to get. It's free to download. I hit select, middle button on my remote again. As it's installing, again, just the middle button, and I'm just using these arrows up, down, left, right. When you first initially set up the Fire Stick, the remote should pair to your TV so that it'll control the on and off and the volume up and down. So now I want to open the application. And there, this screen will show you you're going to want to you're going to need a login and a passphrase. Now, the initial login and passphrase will come from us. If it's one of our installers that does the install for you, he'll have it on an order or and or you'll get it via an email. I have it via an email. It'll look something like this. You'll see an email to from Norvato to whatever email you, you choose. It could be a checknet, it could be a Gmail. Whatever you, whatever you ask when, at, when you sign up for service, we will deliver it there. Uh, welcome to Norvato Dream Streaming TV. We're glad you're here. To activate your subscription, enter the credentials below. So here's my login and my passphrase. And this is these are one-time use login and passphrases. So once this initial device is set up, I will show you later on in the demonstration how to add more devices by generating new codes. You don't have to come back to Norvato for these. You can do them all yourself once the initial one is set up. So again, I'm using the buttons on my login. I hit the center button, 938.
968. And then I go next. Passphrase, 9286. Three one three zero. And then I go next. I save that. It's validating that it's authenticating to, to my account. This is valid to your to your individual accounts. So your first device is set up. Your first 4K Max is set up and and your Novato streaming application is working on it. So now I can go to my channels and I can start watching TV. Let's just go to channel 14, Adam 12. I have an option here to watch, to record, or to search for other uh, programs that similar to Adam 12. So for instance, let's hit the search button. There it is, it's telling me I'm, I can watch it today at four o'clock on channel 17 at four o'clock today at 4.30, you can see all the different episodes as they're coming up on the 9th. So lots of, uh, you can, you, from here you can set it up to uh, record or you can just use the back button on the remote again, that back arrow button to get you back to the, to the main uh, guide here. And here I can hit, I wanna watch. So we're gonna watch. So I can, I can watch this program. I can go back, hit my, my back button again. I scroll down using my, the down button. Say I want to go to Rio Bravo on channel 18. I want to watch this. Let's look, let's look what this is. Okay. And it, I see the program has already started. So I can, I can do restart TV from here too. So again, hitting my center button. I scroll, I just hit the button up. I can pause live TV. You can see it's paused there. So the center button again to play it. Go back up and hit, you know what? The program was started. I wanna start from the beginning. So this center button, here's my rewind, fast forward. Here's my restart button with the little clock in the back arrow, counterclockwise arrow. So what I wanna do there is just hit that once, boom. Now you can see in the timer there, are two seconds out of a 23 minute start to the program. So I can start watching that program right, right from the start. Really nice if say you, you, you saw you were just late to a program, you, you, you got home late from work and you wanted to start it, uh, restart it, you, you got it. Another way to do that is to set up a recording on it. You can do a, you can do a one-time recording, you can do a series recording and I'll show you how to do that as well. So again, I'm going to go back out of here. University Place, let's go, let's click on this and let's hit watch. Just want to show you how you can just simply scroll through these channels, these different programs, just by using the four, up, down, left, right for the guide, and then basically the back button. It's really all I'm using. Really simple remotes that work really well. It's a lot, you can see these remotes are a lot less buttons than our old linear remotes or your old satellite remotes that you would have used with uh, with with an older service. Let's go to 21 Family Ties. Uh, let's watch that. Okay, let's say I want to record a program. So I'm going to go to the Steve Wilk Show, channel 210. I'm going to hit select and I'm going to hit record. I can do a series, new only. I can do a series all, so that'll record all episodes, new and reruns, or I can just do a one-time recording. I'll just select one-time recording for this one. You can see the little red dot comes up and it lets you know that you're recording that program. It also comes up on the guide. Back down, I can record that one and go and maybe watch something else. Let's go to Longmire. And we can now go back in and I'm going to show you the, the menu. So if I hit back and I hit back button again, it brings me up to the top menu here. The for you, here's the, 
here's some channels that I've recently watched. So some of the ones that I was, you saw me just, just surfing through. I can also go down and see what's popular in my area. Channel 212, 209, in that order, is, are the most watched programs right now in the area. And there's some other recommendations down below this as well. So you can cl click on any one of these and, and tune to it and hit watch. It's just kind of a quick way to, to jump in and, and jump from channel to channel if, if, if there's several programs that you kind of want to keep tads up. A lot of us like to uh, channel surf and that's kind of a way to do it. So if I go back and I go to guide, I have the guide here too. Let me show you a quick, couple quick shortcuts on the guide. So if I jump down, if I hold the button, I know that I want to go, see I'm on channel 17 and I know I want to go to channel 210 for instance. I can hold down the center button and this channel number block comes up. I can hit 210, go to it, boom, and I can go watch. I can jump around the guide real quickly that way. Another nice feature is if I hit, if I'm saying I'm watching a program, I can hit the three, men, the three line menu button and that's going to show the last several channels I watched. So it's kind of like the back, the back button on the old remote control, the old linear or satellite remotes where you could just flip back and forth between two channels. This one allows you to flip back, back and forth between several channels. Really, really kind of slick. You can just simply just, it's just click in your back. You can, I can hit the menu button again and okay, I, I want to have family ties on, I want to go to the odd couple. Click. Boom, it's just that quick. Really slick to get around in there. Let me go to the back button again. The next menu up on the top there, I slide over to recordings. There's the Steve, the Steve Wilkes recording that I have going right now. I can also look at my future recordings and edit my series rules there as well. Again, just back button back out of there. I can do a search. Say if I want to search for a specific program, I would do that here. I would hit select and then I would just type in whatever program it was I was looking for here and hit select. And let's go to account. Now this is important if you want to add more devices, more streaming devices. Say if I have a couple more sticks that I want to add. I want to add a phone, a tablet uh, that I want to have allow a Norvato streaming on that dev particular device. So you can see here, here's my Amazon Fire Stick that I'm demoing here. If I want to add a device, I'm just scrolling down, add device, new device login information. Here's your new login and new password. And these are one-time codes again. So you can take a snapshot of that, add your new device. Say you missed it, whoops, I didn't get it. That's okay. You just hit okay again, go back in, add device. It quickly generates a new code for you to add another device. That is really most of the the feature, if you want to exit all the way back out here, you can. The other option is hit the home button on the on the application. It brings you right back to the Amazon home screen. You can scroll down and you can see Norvato, Free, Pluto, some of the applications that we had talked about earlier. I hope this was helpful. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Earlier in the video, we focused mainly on trying to get the Amazon Fire Stick set up with the initial setup, logged into our Amazon account, connected to the Wi-Fi, and then just on the free content that we can find in here, um, we looked at the Pluto app and how to watch certain search for certain shows and then watch them using free apps if they're available. And then we mentioned that there's certain on-demand apps that you can pay for. Eric showed some on the Norvato TV app and how you can get the local channels through that by being part of one of the Norvato Pick Me plans. And I want to show here how if you are part of one of the Norvato Pick Me plans, you can generate credits to be used towards the paid apps. We're going to focus on Netflix in this case. The first thing that we'll have to do is look for the email that we get from Norvato when we sign up for a Pick Me plan. You can see on the screen here, you'll get an email that says Norvato My Bundle on it, and you'll be able to click on it and to so you, you can start redeeming those credits. When you click on the email, it will take you to a browser. And you can see here, this is where you can start the process of setting up your account. 
So first we would just click create account and put in the email address that we signed up with and create a password. So we're just going to go through and set up a Netflix account first and then we'll go on to the onto the Fire Stick and connect it to that account so we can see the on-demand video that's there. So if we just go to Netflix.com and then we sign into our Netflix account. If you don't have one, it's very easy to get one started. You just put your email address in here and then click Get Started. It'll just take you through putting in your name address and creating a password. Once we're into the Netflix account, we're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and find the account area. And when we click on the account area, it's going to take us to our account. If we've already had an account with Netflix in the past, you may have some billing info in here. Currently, I have no payment info, so I'm just going to want to add that to here. To add it, I just click Add Streaming Plan. I want to get the basic plan, so that's $10 a month. So I'm just going to click Next. And then it wants me to put in the credit card info. So I just, in order to use the streaming credits from the Pick Me plan, I just click Credit Card. And, then, and from this billing information screen, I want to make sure I use the information from the Pick Me plan, which I have open in this other tab here. And can I, I can fill that out by clicking on the Click to Copy for each of these sections, and then pasting them into the billing information here. And once the billing information is all entered, I can just click the Save button. And now it asks me what I'll be watching on. In my case, I'm just going to click something else. I just want the one profile on here. If you had other people that you wanted to have their own show histories, you could type in their names. I'm going to select English. And then it asks me to pick some shows that I might like. So now it takes me, and I do have a, a Netflix account here, and it is paid for using the streaming credits. So now, if I want to get that connected to my Amazon Fire Stick, I'm just going to go over to the Fire Stick. So the Netflix app is going to show up on your Fire Stick here. If it doesn't just show up automatically, you can just search it under Find. Even if it's not installed, these, because it's a popular app, it will show up. So if we type in here and go to Netflix, it'll autocomplete fairly quickly. And then we can select the Netflix app. It'll tell us that we need to install it now, so we can click Download. And then once it's download, we'll be able to open the app and then connect it to our Netflix account that we just set up. And once it's installed, then we can find it on our home screen here and then open it. When the app is open for the first time, we just need to click on the sign in area because we already have an account. And once we have entered the email address, we select next and then put in the password. And once we've entered the password, we just select next again. And now that we've successfully entered our password, it will log us into the Netflix account. From the Netflix account, it automatically has a main profile, and then they always do have a kid's profile that just has the kid-friendly programming in it. So I'm going to select the Mark profile, and then I can navigate the Netflix app. From the Netflix app, I can watch any of the popular shows. It shows the top 10 popular shows that they have. Um, it also has all the different movies. I can select over to the left here, and then use the search and search for different movies. It'll show here a top searches. So if we selected one of these shows, we would be able to watch it. And we can just click play, and it will start the movie. If I can always use the back button to back out and back to the main home screen of it. If I'm just interested in movies, I can select to the left and just select movies or just TV shows or just see what's new and popular on the Netflix platform. That pick, the Netflix platform is one of the more popular platforms and they do have quite a bit of on-demand content on here for both TV shows and movies. And then when I'm done I can just select the home button 
and that will take me back to the home. When I want to get back into it, I can find the Netflix button over here. I can also find it down here under my recently used apps, and I can always just search for it or go over to this four gray or these three gray squares here and select that just to see the apps that I have already installed. And you can see I have Netflix here along with the other apps that we've showed like the Pluto app and the Norvato TV app. And that's just a quick review of how you can use the Norvato streaming credits to set up and use an on-demand service.